Hey, how's it going everyone? Nas here. Um, welcome to the channel, uh, Nerdwatcher and Nostalgic. And uh, today's actually a very awesome um, video. These are customs from Joe of Automotive History through Diecast. Check that out. Yeah, I got onto Joe's um, channel whew, a while ago. I uh, just really liked the, the name of it first of all and second of all I really enjoyed his videos and um, I don't remember how exactly uh, it came to Joe sending customs but uh, he sent us some customs he makes customs he does amazing uh, like review videos he also um, I really like his actual like history bits where he um, talks a little bit about um, this box is confusing me, <laughs> where he talks about uh, um, like a certain casting that he picked up and he'll tell you the history about it or like what he likes about it. Um, he does a bunch of varied content which I enjoy. So I um, wanted to share that with you guys. Definitely check out Automotive History through Diecast. And um, <clears throat> anyway. He heard that I was doing a, uh, really quick, this is what these are for. Uh, he heard that I was doing a, another Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction on my channel right here, Nostalgic. And I uh, will be doing that March, um, I believe, 23rd. Not the last weekend, because that's a holiday. Uh, like 23rd on a Saturday. That's what we're shooting for. Um, the date might change uh, depending on um, if anything else is going on. I want to make sure people show up for this and um, what we're doing is we're going to focus pretty much just on Hot Wheels, um, just on Hot Wheels, just on customs and um, so far we have at least 10 customs from 10 different customizer artists and uh, there is one also coming all the way from Ukraine so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll come here in time but a Ukrainian uh, uh, artist, a uh, female artist, uh, a lot of you might have heard of her. I won't say her name yet until we get the customs, but um, I bought one custom for myself because I was so impressed with her just like hand drawing everything. And um, then I started talking to her and uh, she decided to donate another custom for the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. So a Ukrainian person, artist from Ukraine, living in Ukraine right now is donating a Ukrainian custom for us to sell here to raise funds for Ukraine, for Ukrainian volunteers in Ukraine. That's what we've been doing on my channel for the past two years almost, since the war started. And um, I want to thank everybody that always comes through, people who sometimes come through, anyone who comes through at all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you on behalf of Ukrainian people out there. Um, we've we've helped quite a few. and. Uh, I don't know, it's just awesome. I, I'm really, like, blessed with people who, like, the nostalgic community right here, with the diecast community, um, just coming together and doing these amazing things, sending in customs, buying the customs at the auctions. We, se we send 100% um, of the profits go to Ukraine, so to help with humanitarian aid, to help with anything that the volunteers need the money for, like getting gas for their trucks, fixing their trucks, vans, whatever, then they go to like front lines or um, war zones and uh, evacuate people, evacuate animals, they deliver food to people that live there, they deliver food to soldiers, um, oh my god, um, they help to relocate people, they help to find, um, you know, like places to live for people that whose homes got blown up. Uh, we also do like a separate thing, but we also do toy drives here on the Nostalgic Channel. People send in Hot Wheels toys, uh, clothing for kids. We send all of that to Ukraine as well. And, um, you know, uh, the toys usually go to like orphans, uh, to the kids that lost like their mom and or dad, uh, either on the front lines, uh, you know, defending Ukraine from Russia or uh, just civilians living in their apartment in their home and it just got blown up to, to bits by a Russian cruise missile or something like that. You guys know what's going on. Um, there's a horrific, horrific, horrible uh, MFing war right now in Ukraine and uh, Russia is uh, definitely playing the, the evil card. So um, thanks everyone for donating. 
first of all, Joe, thank you so much for donating. Um, you know, uh, it looks like Joe is also a, uh, he does Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, so that's awesome too. Uh, I've actually noticed that a lot of uh, actual American veterans come through for these causes. Um, I just wanted to say, like, you guys are amazing. Because these guys are the ones that know what's happening there right now. Like, I talked to a bunch of them. I talked to a bunch of you guys behind the scenes. And uh, you know the truth. You know what's happening. That's why a lot of, uh, like, actual veterans, American veterans donate to this either buying at the auction or sending customs or just sending like treasure hunts or whatever stuff that would get sold at the auctions and um you know um it's it's moving man um but anyway not just veterans a lot of you guys have been uh really coming through in the diecast community and i'm really blessed and uh, thankful for all of you so <laughs> wow I think you made a couple of uh, customs here. <laughs> so yeah, again guys, this is going to be a crazy show. Uh, we're shooting for the 23rd of March. So um, we have, I think, two weeks to go until then. So um, I was going to do it last weekend, but like I said, it's a holiday. So uh, we're not going to be doing that because who knows who's celebrating what. So um, yeah. So. I am going to do a separate uh, video where I showcase all of the customs or whatever customs that we have so far. Because like I said, there's still customs on the way. If you want to donate, please reach out to me. I will I will give you a, um, a shipping address where you can send stuff to, be it customs or be it anything you want to send. Um, if it doesn't go to auction, it'll get sent to Ukraine for kids to have, you know, so... Uh, and this goes the same for these uh, customs. I will do a like a showcase of these where it's going to be either on a turntable or I'm going to turn the camera around and just show it, you know, nicely. These are packaged perfect, man. Bubble wrap <laughs> and then cloth. Perfect. So yeah, hopefully uh, that wasn't too much mumbo jumbo. It's always kind of difficult for me to explain because it's not like... I'm not a charity, I'm a volunteer as well, so I try to do what I can, you know, with the help of all of you, and, uh, you know, it's 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 difficult to explain things, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what we're doing here, oh my god, is helping Ukrainians, and uh, I really love the fact that we're bringing together other customizers, new and old, like experienced, inexperienced, you know, people who are just starting, and people who are amazing, like, Super Saiyan level 5. And, uh... Wow, man. Yeah, Joe, you were stressed a little bit about your work. I think you can relax. This is beautiful. I hope y'all can see this. Let me hide my eyes. Look at this beautiful Simpsons gasser, and it's done so tastefully. First of all, drilled and tapped with screws. Very nicely done. It doesn't have to be, so those of you that don't do that with your customs, it's okay. It is an extra expense. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah. By the way, Glamour Shots also, I'll be taking photos of these and uh, posting, them, posting them on Hot Wheels for Ukraine on Instagram. Underscores everywhere, Hot Wheels for Ukraine. So definitely check that out. The only stuff I post on there is um, stuff that's going to go for the auction or stuff that's already sold at previous auctions. So anything that's on there, there's nothing personal, there's nothing whatever. It's just like this is what's going to be at the next auction or it says sold, it already, it's already gone. So you can check out that. It's like archives and, you know, what's coming up. So yeah, beautiful. Look at this thing. <sighs> Definitely one of the ones I'll be uh, also bidding on. By the way, I always set aside a couple hundred bucks for these auctions. I almost always spend the whole set aside amount uh, because there's just beautiful, beautiful work, man. Just love this. This is fantastic, bro. Perfect blue for this. <laughs> just perfect. Heck yeah, man. All right, let's see what's next. But yeah, that's the reason why <laughs> I'm going to be doing more videos than just this because you got to show these closed up and I think like a whole showcase like preview of the what's going to go up for the auction is definitely warranted 
And again, these will be photos also on my uh, Nostalgic um, Productions Instagram channel. They're everywhere, man. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. Joe, man, again, thank you so much for doing this. Um, I can't wait till this auction, man. I know a lot of people are excited about it. Just hope we get a good turnout. That's why I'm always, like, very, like, shaky about the date because sometimes people just can't make it. Sometimes a lot of people make it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just never know. Wow. Okay, we have a Skyline. Uh, this is the Silhouette one. Nissan Skyline Silhouette. Yes, indeed. This one's painted black with RSR. Very sinister. Look at that. Great choice of wheels. Just all black everywhere. It's another goodie. It's always difficult for me because, like, I, I collect customs. Everything, this bottom row. That's all custom. That's not even all of them, so. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I'm showing these well enough. So again, there you go. There's your silhouette of it. Painted headlights. The wheels are great, man. Perfect. And drilled and tapped. Beautiful piece. All right, just trying to keep this moving because there's a bunch here. Make sure I didn't cut my fingers off. <sighs> but yeah, again, want to thank everyone that's already sent me customs. I have a whole box behind me full, and I'm just kind of like, oh my god, that's amazing. Just keep in mind, it's a perfect opportunity for you to pick up some customs for your collection. Uh, and feel good about it. You're, you didn't waste your money. Your money is going to a very good cause. I don't keep any of it. And uh, it's just, it's something, it feels good, man. Uh, take it from me. I, I always buy things at this auction. And it always feels good, man. Because you can look back at the item you have and you always remember where you got it. And you meet a new customizer in a community that you could reach out to and talk to maybe get more customs from or just meet a new person Ooh. <laughs> oh man that is that is another good one this is lancer right 2008 lancer evo dude you did good on this one not that you did bad on those <laughs> Look at that beautiful pink Hello Kitty all like zombied out. <laughs> yep, Real Rider tires. Look at that. That is beautiful. Very like pleasant shade of pink by the way. Sometimes pink can get a little out of hand. I got nothing wrong with pink, I love pink. I think a lot of men should calm down. It's a very good looking color. <laughs> oh no, I'm wearing pink. I can't be manly. <laughs> You're fine, dude. So yeah, this is really cool. Love this Hello Kitty one. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a good one, man. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys enough time to look at it. Just because I also don't know if it's even in the shot, man. It's my new way of filming. Oh, I didn't even see this. This one says for you. I get one. Haha, <laughs> man. All right, we'll save that for last. I can't believe I just noticed that because I, I just thought it said four or something. That's great. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Joe. That's awesome. Oh, man. All right. So yeah, it's been it's been a hectic week, guys. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments or send me some messages on any of those Instagram accounts I mentioned to you before. 
Uh, let me know if the 23rd of March might work for you. Um, that would be cool. Or if you want to contribute to any of this, I'm always accepting. It's amazing how many people just reach out and they're like, hey man, I want to send you some customs for the auction. And I'm like, I wasn't even planning on doing another one like anytime soon. But they're like, yeah, no, no, it's, it's fine. And I'm just like, no, you know what? Send them. I'm going to do another auction. <laughs> and then I make the announcement and more people pile in. More and more and more. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing how giving people are. Ooh, this is color shift and it's so well done. Oh, wow, dude. This is better than that R34 I have. Bombs away. Air Force. Yeah. Oh, that is freaking nice. The decals are like crisp cut. All right, look at that. I really hope you can tell the color shifting. Look at that. Come on, light bar. Do your magic for the people. It's like purple, green, blue. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. Um, what are they called? Plain lady. It's not what they're called, but like they would paint these on the bombers. That is so cool. Dude, Joe, so far, these are freaking impressive, man. Great clear coat job on this. Like, the whole paint job is amazing on this van. Definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. Again, with all of them. <laughs> they all have rubber wheels. They're all drilled and tapped. They're all freaking fantastic, man. What a beauty. Okay, next. Just gonna rip that open. Dude, I really like how you pack these with a little bit of cloth, like a cut up t-shirt or something. It's like super protected. Um, you can tell someone was, you know, like, likes their craft like joe definitely enjoyed making these customs he loves them it wasn't something easily here take it whatever you know he didn't make these like willy-nilly i guess what i'm trying to say like i'm an artist too and sometimes you make art and it's kind of hard to sell it even much less give it away uh, you know and you always hope everyone's gonna like it and you hope people you know aren't going to critique it negatively, but holy shit, when you're good, you're good, man. And Joe, man, oh, this top secret one is going to freaking go. <laughs> Guys, please leave comments in, uh, comments down below. Some words of encouragement, man, because this man is talented. Look at that. The wheels, brake calipers, disc brakes, top secret livery. Oh, wow. Did you sacrifice um, team transport? Like Skyline? This is glasses. Fantastic job, dude. Fantastic. This one's great. I'm just saying that about every single car, man. They're just getting better and better with like every every car I'm pulling out here. But this one's exceptionally good. Like the wheels match it great. The color scheme, gold, black, white. It doesn't get like crazy. It's not too busy to look at. That is a beauty, man. That is a beauty right there. Wow. Man. 
yeah guys, this is just one person. I have about 10 other customizers, customs from them. Each one's at least two customs. Some are just one, but I have stuff from everyone. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> for someone who's a collector of customs, it's very difficult for me to like hold all these because like I want to buy them as well, but obviously I can't. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, customs ain't cheap. But that's why we do auctions and stuff like that, so... But yeah guys, March 23rd, hopefully uh, that's when this will happen. And uh, we'll also be doing like a claim sale after that. Um, I have a bunch of non-customs that were donated. So we're probably going to do that. We might, depending on how the auction's going, we might like mix it up a little bit, put in like a super in between the customs or some other stuff just to kind of break it up. We do crazy stuff. <sighs> oh man, come on. You're just, just freaking fire, man. You're bringing heat with every freaking thing. This is a Cheech and Chong van. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Volkswagen T1 panel bus. Look at that. This is metal base premium. Perfect purple. Got Cheech and Chan, man. <laughs> oh, that is great. And on top we have best buds, right? Yeah. Best buds stick together. Yeah. Look at that. They certainly do. What a beaut, man. Dude, this right here is like a sick collection. I mean, come on. We started strong and we finished strong. Like, the Simpsons gasser, that's going to be popular. <laughs> the Cheech and Chon van, that's going to be popular. This skyline right here, the silhouette, that's going to be popular. Like, this is freaking classic. Like, I like how you kept the styling. To make it look like stick with the retro you know of it because this is a historical first of all casting but this is a very historic iconic car in itself so very influenced by uh kaido racers and stuff the hello kitty zombie the freaking cream of the crop right here with those wheels oh yeah and of course the freaking chameleon color shift van with the bomber girls bomber girls I think is what it's called they're called whatever all right guys uh, I am excited let's open what's for me what uh, what is Nas getting Love me some customs, man. I can't believe I'm getting a custom. Hell yeah, a new one by a new artist to my collection. By a man who I like and respect and enjoy his videos. And uh, yeah, man. And now I'm a fan of your art because I finally got to see it in person. And oh my god, dude, I love it. <sighs> okay. For you. Alright, there's some... Technical difficulties with the stuff here. Okay. Oh no! Don't tell me it's a 510 wagon. <laughs> it has to be. Yep, I think it is. That's all I see. Alright. Come on, tape. Come on, tape! <laughs> Come on, tape! Mm. Okay. This tape is being a patootie. There we go, we'll just slide it out. Hopefully there was nothing. Oh my god, it's racy. <laughs> it's racy. Alright. Toyo Tire Botool. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh my god, another Datsun Wagon. Custom Datsun Wagon. Going into my collection. Look at that. <laughs> First of all, beautiful, like, mellow gold color. Then you got, like, tribal tattoos. 
<laughs> this thing is crazy. Like, if this was, um, like, Kaido... Not Kaido, I forget the, the next level, like the bos, Bosu, um, where they have the pipes coming out, make it more, more crazy. This would be it. Look at that hood. <laughs> would you look at this crazy thing? I love it, man. Thank you. What a crazy freaking custom right there. This definitely made me smile, dude. Wow, that, that girl is um, um, well endowed. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. One last look at my 510 wagon. Thank you, Joe. Wow, we got a lot of Joes up in here. Got a lot of Chris's, Joes. Everybody. <laughs> All right, well, that'll do it, guys. That was uh, our unboxing. Ah, oh, God, from Joe, from uh, Automotive History through Diecast. I always mix that up, that's why I'm saying it weird. I'm going to have to uh, somehow get that sticker to come off of the box so I can put it on my um, tool thing there, tool cabinet. But, uh, oh, I can't lift this up. I'll destroy these customs. So, yeah. Stay. There you go, a box of customs. That, because I did this, this might have to be a thumbnail just because like, dude, why are you doing that? That's dangerous. So I'll put this down. So yeah, love all these. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much, man. Automotive history through Diecast, established in 2022. So uh, guys, definitely check him out. He's a new channel. He's been rocking it with his pickups uh he collects what he likes which is the most important thing uh he'll go um he'll collect uh open things he'll collect on card things just a variation of things and um very informative let's leave it that way so um yeah dude and thank you for these customs these will definitely do great at the auction thank you so much uh keep an eye out for um my Instagram accounts, nostalgic underscore productions and hot wheels for Ukraine underscores everywhere. Both of those I'm gonna have glamour shots on of these customs so you can take a look at them better because I have no idea if I even filmed them well. I don't even know if this is recording. I might have just spent about 20 minutes <sighs> acting a fool. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, this is fantastic. I'm just amazed by these customs. They're great. Um, yeah, and another, uh, I'm definitely going to do a showcase of these eventually before the auction and uh, give you more information also in future videos. But until then, we have a lot more unboxings to go to go through. Uh, there's some more donations coming. There's more customs coming. And uh, yeah, we pretty much do a video every day here. So uh, stick around. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, that's all I got to say about that. Thanks, Joe. Peace, everyone. This is awesome. Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction, guys, coming in March 23rd. Peace. Rock.